Welcome to our home. I've been meaning to make a apartment tour for quite a while, but it seems like the house was, was always messy and it was never the right time. So I figured this is it. If it's not tidy, you'll just, we'll just walk through and we'll tidy together as we go along. This apartment is about 85 square meters, which is about 915 square foot meters. So it's not tiny, but it's definitely not a big house for five uh, people to live in. We live right outside of Tel Aviv. And this is a very typical building built in the 1950s, 1960s in Israel. And it hasn't been renovated since. Uh, we do have new cabinets that were put in, I think in the 80s in the kitchen. One of the downsides of an older apartment, first of all, the way it looks, obviously it seems quite old. And also it doesn't have uh, today in the war, what a lot of Israelis are looking for in apartments is a mamad, which means a safe room. That housing buildings that were built after the 90s are required to put in a special safe room that in case of rockets and sirens, you can go to. So in our case, because it's an old building, there is some sort of shelter on the bottom of the building, but it's not as convenient as having it in your own house and probably not as safe. And another downside is because it's such an old building, there's a lot of plumbing issues. Because we're renters, it doesn't bother us as much. We first moved to this apartment around eight years ago. And back then we were just us. Before we had any kids, we were expecting my son. We lived in a very small 40 square meter apartment in Tel Aviv, about 430 square feet. It was a studio apartment. And when we first came to this apartment, this 85 meters seemed like a mansion to us. We, I would walk in the other room and I, I couldn't, I can't hear you on the other side of the house. It seemed like a huge, huge house. Uh, now, Baruch Hashem, thank God we have three kids. So the house filled up. We are expecting Bezrat Hashem in the next few months, a fourth child. So we were thinking about, you know, maybe to have four kids sleeping in the same bedroom is a little bit too much and maybe moving into a larger apartment. And uh, there are some benefits to living in this house. First of all, we love our landlords. Um, they give us a very, very decent price. They're not looking to always up the rent or things like that. Uh, they like us, we like them. One of the reasons we live in this area is because it's so close to our work. We both walk to our office. Anyway, the, in the first few months of the baby's life, the baby sleeps with us in the room, so it's not really a question for the next year, but we're thinking of maybe um, moving into a larger apartment, but for now it's really convenient for us and the kids like sleeping in the same room. So as you can see here, there's this foyer area. It has a high ceiling, our coats area, and where we keep our shoes. This little chair here, we throw in our umbrellas and our coats. It's been very, very wintry here. We have things that we want to recycle, junk to give away. This, this area, I'm, I think we could do a lot better with. You see, I see someone left their toothbrush here. Oh, okay. And we have the kids' bedroom right over here. Here we have the bathroom area we're gonna get to soon. Here there's like a small hallway that leads to the kitchen and to our bedroom. Over here we have the living room. So let's start with the kids' bedroom. So one of the things we do is we recently, a few months ago, we got a bunk bed, which is great. Um, my older son sleeps on the top bunk. My daughter sleeps on the bottom bunk bed and they absolutely love this bunk bed. We got it secondhand for a very, very good price. And um, it actually has a bed that you can open up on the bottom. So maybe, maybe when my two year old is ready to use that bed, we'll move her over. And here's her crib. For now, it works to have them three sleeping in the same room. They like it, they go to sleep at the same time. Here, you see there's a little bit of a mess. I'm gonna put this laundry away. There's always a little bit of laundry to fold or to do. Here's a desk that we thought my son was gonna do homework on, but he always does his homework in the living room, so that's not really useful. 
And here there's like a foyer area that was closed off. Yeah, this is probably an air conditioner from the 50s. We store our toilet paper, our diapers, cleaning products over here. We have a some of the kids' toys we keep over here. Board games and stuff like that we keep over here. And a lot of the toys that they play with all the time we keep in the living room. Here we have sheets, towels, and here we have some coats, extra coats and clothes that my kids are gonna use in the next season. We use a radiator for them sometimes. These nights have been very, very cold, so we use a radiator. I'd say about maybe 20 nights in the winter we use the radiator. Now I'm going to show you the bathroom. So this is a very tiny bathroom. Like you can see, it's very small to fit in. And here's this bathroom and then on this side is a bath area which we added in a toilet that costs us a few thousand uh, shekels maybe a thousand dollars to add in this toilet our laundry basket which reminds me that I should be doing an, another load and we have our washing machine and our dryer which we actually just got our dryer this winter I really don't know how I survived eight winters without a dryer. I remember waiting a few days for clothes to dry and towels to dry, but I can't, I can't, I love the dryer so much. This is our first winter with the dryer. I am absolutely loving it. About the old plumbing in the building. So there was actually a leakage from our apartment to the apartment below us. And our landlords had to redo this bathroom. So this happened about a year ago they had to redo this bathroom and we got a new bath put in. Next we have the kitchen. Okay, so it's a very old kitchen. These cabinets were actually redone, I think in the 80s. We don't have a dishwasher, we do dishes by hand. And here we have our oven and our fruit area and this is our table it's getting a little bit tight the table a lot of times also when one of us sits here so the other one says could you please go in i have to pass it's a little bit tight and also now we're five family members so sometimes we have one two three four chairs and then one of us will sit over here or we'll squish over here so it's not really the best we have to think of a way to be able to fit all five mem family members in the kitchen. It's a little bit tight over here. And if one person is working on the counter, then the other person can't really come out with his chair. So it's a little bit tight, the kitchen. And this is where we just store our appliances. My husband and I really aren't the purchasing type people. We don't like buying a lot of things. It comes very naturally to us to be minimalists and just not to buy a lot of things. But especially in this kitchen and in this apartment, I make challah dough and pizza dough about once a week or once every two weeks. So I've been thinking about buying maybe a stand mixer that could mix up the dough for me, but where would I put it? Because we don't have a lot of storage space, so I'm definitely not gonna buy any appliance that I'm not a thousand percent sure that I really, really, really need and will use. Okay, next we have the bedroom. This is our bedroom, Ikea night table. I have a lot of books. I'm working on a lot of different videos. I have a book about conversion. I have a book about Purim. I have a book about the Tanya. Everyone is a different video idea that I'm thinking about. Usually when we had a new baby, we put a crib right over here and there's enough space for that. This is our closet that we bought um, at Ikea. The closet that the apartment came in was becoming ruined completely. So we went and bought for a few thousand shekels, we brought this closet, which we love. We have his side, my side, and the middle is 
drawers. Next, we have the living room. I'd say probably the place that we spend the most time in. So this L shape we bought secondhand. We love it. We bought it for 2,600 shekels. And one of the best things is that it opens up to a bed. We use this all the time. The kids jump on it. They love it. Looking for a long time on secondhand to find exactly the L shape that would fit in. You see it fits in right over here. And because it's secondhand, we don't care if the kids wreck it. I think my husband, sometimes he says, you know, kids don't jump on the couch, but I think even he uh, gave up on that and they just enjoy it. And the dining room table, what's great about this is that it opens up. So when we have guests, we move the table to the center, we open it up. We have our computer area. I'm thinking maybe to move the computer room out of this room. And we have our bookcase. Every Jewish home has a bookcase. And here is the toy area. We have these Ikea Kallax. And every, maybe once, once every half a year, my mother comes and helps me organize the toys, organize the clothes, throw things away. And it's always so much fun after she leaves. The kids have a great time. They can access their toys. It's the toys that they love. And here we have some extra toys. They're loving this map. Maybe two years ago, uh, my mother-in-law gave us this map and they're loving to look at the world and see uh, what, who's next to who. Here's our Shabbat candles area. When we first started renting this place, the guy who lived in this apartment before we did lived here for 10 years and we thought to ourselves who lives in a rented apartment for 10 years and here we are almost eight years living in this apartment and we've been blessed with such nice landlords and a really uh, good price because israel is a small country real estate housing prices for buying is always going up a lot of people say that buying an apartment a house in israel is always a good investment but for now, renting this apartment has been the best for us. We live close to work, we're enjoying it. Even though this is a very secular area in Israel, we were able to find a small community of families that live in the vicinity of us. And we formed a community and we have a shul and we have kiddishes and things like that. And we are really enjoying it for now, even though we're just renters. So hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time.